what causes imposter syndrome? All right, let's look at them. I've got a long list here, people. First of all, um, family expectations. Anyone got any parents who have been pressuring them all your life? You're never quite good enough for them. And even if you've moved out of home and maybe your parents are not around, you still have this little voice inside your head that sounds like your parents saying, you're fake, you're phony, you're not good enough. So family expectations could be one of the causes of imposter syndrome. Overprotective parents. Anyone got any overprotective parents who uh, were like he their helicopter parents and always making sure that you're sheltered and nothing ever happens to you and you know you grow up to become an adult who just feels like you can never step out of your comfort zone because of this ingrained uh, training from your parents of you know always got to be protecting and safe and oh my gosh racial identities that can be a cause of imposter syndrome you might be from um, an afro-american community you might be from hispanic latino you might be from asian um, especially the underrepresented uh, racial um, identities can feel it that's definitely one of them um, how you perceive the world that's called your attribution attribution style or your explanatory style meaning how you explain the world how you explain what happens to you and you could be um, experiencing success and you say ah that was just luck or um, you might just have a bit of a pes pessimistic style of explaining the world and say oh, life life sucks and bad things always happen to me so you could also have some anxiety some depression you can have low self-esteem and low self-worth. I think that the main cause of imposter syndrome is low self-worth. But we're going to go through that integrated detail later on in this course. Perfectionism. Oh my gosh, perfectionism. Who feels like they can never quite do a good job? I feel like it's never good enough in their own mind. Like they'll, they'll do a good job and, and everyone around you say, yeah, you did a great job. And you're like, nah, I could have been better. Or you start to see the flaws. So perfectionism could cause imposter syndrome. Overthinking. Oh my gosh. Overthinking. Hands up if you do it. I do. i got more here. All right. There's two guys named Dunning and Kruger. And they came up with this, the Dunning-Kruger effect. And that is a, uh, this is cognitive bias. So one part of your brain tells you that you're an imposter, that you're no good. And you tell yourself a mental story. And we're going to go into that more in another video. And then another part of your brain goes and looks for evidence to back up the story that you've told yourself. That's the Dunning-Kruger effect. So that could be the cause of imposter syndrome. You're basically telling yourself a, a really bad story about life. The inner critic. The inner critical voice could be a major cause of imposter syndrome. And you know that little voice that tells you that you've done a a bad job that you screwed up it just is this negative self-talk so imposter syndrome can definitely be caused by the inner critic something called the jonah complex this is the fear of success so a lot of people will feel like an imposter because they're afraid of success and they don't want to step outside their comfort zone your mindset your mindset might be negative and you might always see the world in a pessimistic light. And yeah, you, your mindset is just, just negative and that can cause imposter syndrome. You might have, you might be a poser. That is someone who poses for effect to get attention because you don't feel like you're worthy of love. Okay, so we see a lot of these people on social media posing, but a lot of them have... Uh, this insecurity inside of them. So that can cause their imposter syndrome. And if you're from Australia, you're gonna know this one, tall poppy syndrome. So let me tell you, there's this plant, it's called a poppy, and it grows up, and usually all the poppies grow to about this, this high, but one of them will usually grow a little bit higher. And in Australia, because of our convict legacy, try to keep everyone at the same level, we chop anyone down at the neck if they try to be higher than anyone else and we call it tall poppy syndrome so you could be experiencing tall poppy syndrome don't want to stand out want to play a small game you know 
don't want to get chopped. That's That could be another cause of imposter syndrome. Now, imposter syndrome is not classified as a mental illness, and it is not in the medical um, book called DSM. And yeah, it's, it's yet to be um, classified as, as a mental illness. So the causes of imposter syndrome, there's many of them, as you have heard, which one of them do you relate to? Maybe there's a few that, re that you relate to. And if you remember just one thing from this video, the cause or the causes of imposter syndrome, the main one I believe is low self-worth. We're gonna go into that more in the next few videos.